Archbishop Iso Kikuchi, it is great to meet you, and thank you so much for doing this interview. Thank you very much for inviting me. Yeah. You are here at the Synod from Tokyo in Japan, and you have just been announced by Pope Francis as one of the Cardinal Elects. This December, you will be given the red hat. Uh, how does it feel to become a hat cardinal? I was really surprised because I was not expecting it. And I met Holy Father just a few days before the announcement. We took a picture together. He smiled at me. He didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. Yes. Let's talk a bit about the beautiful and fascinating country, your home country of Japan. It has a very sorrowful history when it comes to Christians and the persecution of Christians and the suppression of the faith. And 123 million people in the country, but how many Catholics? Half a million is uh, uh, Japanese Catholics who are registered to the parishes. But we think and we believe that we must have another half a million migrants, Catholics in Japan. They especially the Filipino community is the biggest. And there are a big number of the South Americans from Brazil and Peru. And, and then also there are many from other countries in Asia and Africa. We talk a lot now about the, the shift in, in, in power and the Catholic Church going to Africa, going to Asia, the Pope's recent trip across Southeast Asia. And what is it like in society today? I know the, the problems in Japan that you've been speaking out against before in the last number of years. For example, the population decline and the, the birth rate has been completely dropping off. Is that still the case today? Well, the society right now is an aged society without uh, the young kids and the birth rate is going down, still going down. So we are really worried about becoming the future, what will happen then on the, the, the old people in the society and no young people, then how to maintain the structure of the society is a big problem right now in Japan. The Catholic faith there, is it growing somewhat with the immigrants coming in? Is it stable the same? Oh, well, the Catholic Church itself in Japan is growing. Why? Because the, the influx of the migrants. But we don't have the young Japanese joining the church. So the number of the Japanese Catholics are just stable, less than half a million. But then migrants Catholics' numbers are growing. You are here for the entire month for the Synod. What would you like to see as the result? Something that would make you think that was a worthwhile exercise, that's a good result from the Synod. What I think what we are doing right now is to lay the foundation of the, 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 for the future church. And the, of course, we have been having the church, and the church is based on the long tradition, or 2,000 years of tradition. We cannot just build a synodal church, but we have to have the common understanding of the church, common understanding of the meaning of the synodality. And unless we have the common understanding of the foundation, everybody can build whatever we want. Uh, there will be the, there will be the uh, diverse, or what they call diverse church with, uh, without any unity. Mayhem. <laughs> it will be a mess. So we have to definitely have this common understanding of the foundation. So I think at the end of the synod, we will be able to pro promote, I mean, we will be able to produce some kind of the common understanding of the, what synodality means, what, what means the synodal church. That will be the foundation for the future development. Archbishop Kikochi of Tokyo and Cardinal-elect, it's been a pleasure talking to you and thank you so much. Thank you so much.